Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the Electricians in Action, where we get together and we talk about the code every morning before we go out and fight the good fight. You can catch the EIA every day at 9 a.m. Let's get to it. All right, so today we're gonna ask the question, can you still backstab a receptacle and should you? So this is what we're talking about here. So in the past, it was very popular to backstab into the receptacle. It allows you to put more wires to the receptacle, because you could technically wrap around the screws and use the backstab terminals. So it's just one of those things if your device was listed for it. So the question is, is it safe to do it and should we still be doing it today? And is it still legal? So depending on what device you have, yes, it's still legal today. You can still do it. But the biggest thing that we have to watch out for is right here. We have to make sure that we are using it according to its listing. And this is one of the most dangerous things of the original you know, backstab receptacles not all of them are listed for 12 gauge wire. Most of them nowadays are only listed, it's in very tiny writing, for 14 gauge solid wire. So the only way you can use the backstab terminals with this device and use it safely is to use it with 14 gauge wire. Now let's talk about some of the reasons we maybe shouldn't use backstab. So I'm not gonna knock you if you do use it. We're gonna talk about some of the comparisons here in just a moment, but I wanna let you know that almost every time that I come to someone's home and I'm troubleshooting and it's receptacles, it's because they were backstabbed. They were stabbed in the back. It is a much stronger and preferred connection to wrap around the screw properly, torque it down and tighten it. But backstabs cause a lot of trouble. And you can let us know if you still backstab down in the comments below. Some people call it stab locking. Some people call it backstabbing. Whatever you want to call it, that's fine. Now, a lot of you and most of the electricians I know would never backstab. It doesn't matter if it's 14 gauge wire or not. And they'd be like, oh, I would never do that. But are these same electricians the one that would use something like this? I have no problem with these. A lot of people call them Wago blocks. That's a brand name. Shout out to Wago. You guys do awesome. Um, and there's lots of different varieties of these. But really, are these type connectors any different than backstabbing? That's the question that we have to ask ourselves. And if you're unfamiliar with these type connectors, they're a push type connector that you push the wire in and a little metal clamp is what holds the connection together and bridges the connection through this port. So you could stuff two neutrals in here and add another neutral. But that's pretty much the same technology that we have going on inside of this receptacle right here. All it is is a bent piece of metal that we stick it through and because it puts enough pressure on it, it's a pressure connector essentially, it is holding it and making the connection. So I know a lot of electricians that would never backstab a receptacle but are willing to use these Wago blocks. And we have to ask the question, is there any difference? You can let us know what you think down in the comments below. But to answer the question, you still can backstab receptacles. If your receptacles call for it, you have to follow all of the manufacturer's recommendations like wire sizing and wire type and all of these different things. And to answer the other question, should you? I don't know, that's a personal preference. I'm not gonna knock anybody who does. Most electricians do not. If you were trained that way, and as long as you're using it according to the listing, I have no problem with it. I'm not going to knock you, but I do personally prefer a screw terminal connection. I hope this video added a little bit of value to you, and my bargain is that you will in turn add value to others. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and I've dedicated my life to help you become everything that you can be in life and in the electrical industry. If you need anything from me, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.